Hi, my name is David Salazar. I'm a maintenance machinist at East Bay Mud. And we are at Madison Pumping Plant and Proctor Reservoir number one and two. This is part of the freshwater distribution system. And we're gonna be showing you a little about what we do. Well, as a maintenance machinist uh, here at East Bay Mud, we handle uh, the distribution system in the freshwater side. So what we do is we handle the water treatment section filter plants, pumping plants, reservoirs, uh, regulators and rate controls, and then anything that has to do with, with uh, the fresh water distribution system. Um, right now they're rehabbing this facility, electrical's in there rewiring, they put new control panels in to, uh, to satisfy the modern safety standards. And uh, they're about getting ready to hot it up and put everything in service. And then back here we have a, a reservoir that they've redone steel tank and they've redid the altitude line, the overflow line, and the uh, I.O. lines. The skill set you need here uh, specifically at East Bay Mud is a pretty wide range of skills. Uh, you need your foundation is machining um, and that that allows you to look at things differently than if you were just a mechanic. You have the foundation of materials, what it takes to make something and where that comes in is when something breaks, you know uh, exactly how to fix it. That's the hook, and I think for most machinists, is being able to design and build things that you know most people can't. It's a it's a real real fun skill set. Working in machine shops, it's not uncommon to work one or two years in a machine shop to move on. In fact, it was encouraged, especially when you start early on. You know, you could work on screw machines as a machinist, you could work on large equipment as a machinist, machining shafts that are 50, 60 feet long, you know, seven or eight feet in diameter. Yeah, some of the things that we do uh, as maintenance machinists is maintain uh, reservoirs. And this is a, a reservoir that's actually being rehabbed right now. And what they've done is they've moved the overflow pipe from the inside to the outside so we can actually have a visual uh, when, when the, the reservoir is too full and it starts to overflow. And they've also rehabbed the sensing line as well. We're here at a Madison pumping plant and the electricians are uh, putting a new control panel in and they're, they're about to rewire, they're actually rewiring all the motors. What we have here is a control valve. So we rebuild those, we replace them, uh, and we maintain them. And then we have, we have a vertical pump here, which the, the pump barrel's in the ground. And so what we would do is we would remove, if we had to rebuild the motor, uh, rebuild the pump, we'd re remove the motor, disconnect the coupling, uh, and then pull the pump barrel. We'd take it to the machine shop, take it apart, uh, machine a new shaft, uh, the impellers, things like that.